get ready with me for my birthday. I usually do a get ready with me pretty much every year when I film, uh, because I usually film my birthday look. I don't know why I can't speak right now, but yeah, that's where we are, I guess. So I'm going to get ready. I'm kind of running a little late. That's probably why I can't speak. So today I'm going to be using my ColourPop Limoncello palette, Limoncello, whatever you want to call it. Um, very excited to use this one today because we're going to um, one of my favorite places in Long Island, New York, and that is um, the North Fork. So I thought that this palette would be perfect for that. And also this has been like my favorite summer palette pretty much, my favorite spring summer palette. So I'm just going to start getting ready because I would like to um, be ready within the next half hour or so. So the first shade I'm going to pick up is Amalfi. And I'm wearing like this yellow romper. Um, it's like a yellowy gold color. And I'm just going to pop this in my crease because this is literally like almost the same color as it. And... Y'all know I love doing like yellowy eyes or sunset eyes or warm tone eyes and I just thought a yellow look would be really pretty today and I really wanted to wear this romper so we're just gonna get ready. So I'm going to pop this one in my crease first. So um, we're going to be going to the North Fork, me and my boyfriend. Um, he's really the only person I'm doing something with today. And then I'm probably going to just, well, I am just going to spend time with my mom and my brother later. And that's about it. Like, honestly, when you get older, like, all you want to do is, like, do things that make you happy and just spend it with the people that you want to spend it with the most and not like worry about like too much about who else you're with I feel like and also like I'm doing a lot with my friends next week and for some reason um every time my birthday rolls around no one is ever like really available on my birthday weekend and plus also my boss gave me off the entire weekend. Um, I don't think she knew it was my birthday, or maybe she did. I can't, I'm not really sure. Of course, I requested off today, but um, she gave me off the whole weekend. And I was like, okay, I was like, I'll take it. Okay, so now for the defining shade, I'm using the shade Lemon Squeezy. And this one's a really pretty, like, orangey, light tone tan shade. And I'm going to use Lant in my defining area. Um, so we're going to go to, so, like, out in the North Fork, honestly, Long Island, like, has so many, like, amazing sections. Like, like honestly, even if you live here, you probably still won't visit everywhere that, Long Island has to offer because we are seriously so privileged to have the North Fork because it's all like wine country and farmland and it basically is like going upstate or going to like California wine country. It's so beautiful out there and me and Josh and also my friends love going out there in the summertime. Me and Josh haven't been out there in a few years, so, like, together, so I'm very excited to go. Um, we used to go to the city and stuff, but honestly, ever since COVID started, I haven't really been, like, a huge fan of going to the city anymore. Not because it's, like, less crowded, because honestly, it's really not now, because, like, the last time I went there, it was insanely crowded, but... It's just, I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. And plus, like, like when we go to the North Fork, you just drive there. It's a very scenic route. It's just beautiful out there. And I just, I didn't want to go to the city today. Like, I'm kind of just over it, like, at this point. Um, I already went last m month, but honestly, like, and everything's so expensive in the city. So it's like... 
I'm just really excited to go um, out there and there's so much farmland and these amazing farm stands of like amazing fruits and vegetables that you can't find in my area or around like the middle of the island like you have to go out there to get them and the fruits and vegetables are absolutely amazing they have like exotic melons they have like really cool grapes like they have like yellow grapes and yellow watermelon like and i the i've only had that once like because my family took me out there like years ago for my birthday and it was amazing but i used to be the person that like didn't have plans for my birthday when i was growing up because i didn't really have that many friends and I don't really expect to, like, do too much for my birthdays now. Um, by the way, I'm taking the shade Vespa and I'm putting that on my outer corners, which is, like, the darkest shade in the palette. And it's such a pretty, like, dark, chocolatey brown. Um, but yeah, I didn't really have that many plans for my birthday growing up. Um, because I didn't really have too many friends, like my sister, so my family would always try and like make it special for me so but you know it kind of sucked not having a friend but not let's not get too deep i'm very excited about today um so we're gonna go to one of the farm stands first but also they have like the most amazing um pies outies and they make everything from the fresh fruit and it's just so amazing like you can't get a better pie than what's out there they're so amazing so we're gonna get those first okay so for my lid I'm gonna go in with the yellow metallic of course which is called serenade I love the shimmers in this palette I cannot get over how wet looking and shimmery they are and I just I love this palette so much this is one of their best formula wise and that's why I love the in the springs palette so much because it reminds me of this amazing formula and I feel like they need to have this formula in every single palette because then I feel like they they would be solid quality so they need to stop changing up the formula and just stick with this one because this is their best formula by far like look at that isn't that so pretty so I was either gonna use this palette or the um, Nomad the new Nomad palette, but I was like, I gotta use ColourPop on my birthday. Like, what am I talking about? I mean, I was gonna use the yellows from Nomad, but I think that these colors are even better with my shirt. I mean, with my romper, with my shirt. The color of the romper, so. Because they're more goldeny mustard. The colors in the Nomad palette are a bit more like pastel yellow. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered which one I would have, would not have mattered which one I would have used. I cannot speak today. Okay, so now I'm going to just clean up my eyeshadow and then we'll start doing my face. Okay, so now we're going to do the rest of my face. I just wanted to walk the dogs real quick. So I'm just going to use the dewy uh, mist from ColourPop. I love it so much. It smells amazing. And then I'm just going to use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer which is my favorite. So I'm probably, I'm just gonna use a lot of my tried and true products for my face, um, cause this is the best primer. <laughs> it's just, it's not just a gripping primer, it's also very smoothing on the skin. I just, I love it. So now for the face, I'm gonna use my um, Lancome Taint Idol foundation one of my holy grails if not my holy grail foundation this foundation just never lets me down and it just looks amazing on the skin so i'm just gonna use that i'm gonna do like two and a half pumps should be enough and that should cover my whole face yeah i can already see how much coverage it has it just has the thinnest most comfortable consistency and it has the most like beautiful coverage so I love it so much. I mean, could you ask for anything more with a foundation than that? I mean, we we all want perfect skin, but we also want something comfortable to wear. Um, well, that's just me anyway. 
and I'm just gonna blend it out and I'm in the shade I think it's what is it called 090 ivory neutral and I love it so much so I'm just gonna use it to dong so yeah we're gonna go get the pies first we usually always get blueberry <laughs> blueberry pie is like amazing I we might get two I'm not sure if we're just gonna get one or two the last time we actually got them was for my birthday like a few years ago um and we went to one of the winer I think one of the wineries first and then we went to the pie stands and got um the pies I don't think we went to the place that he wants to take me to today for the pies, I think we just found a random stand that I I think I've been to that place a couple of times. I can't remember what it was called. But honestly, any of the st the farm stands that you go to there, they're always going to be amazing. So, it doesn't really matter which one you go to. They're always good. But I think this one's like his favorite and I don't I've never been to this one, so I'm really excited to go. Um and then after that, we're just going to go um to dinner and um he's gonna take me to my favorite place and also I think we went there like a few years back this was separately from when we went out there for my birthday and then for the concealer I'm using the coinciding uh Lancome concealer because I love this one too it's so incredibly lightweight and easy to blend out and I just don't want like heavy makeup today I just want something that looks pretty and looks good so um so yeah very excited um we're going to my favorite italian restaurant i think in all of new york even better than the city i love this place um they have the most amazing in-house pasta and it's more like rustic Italian, but it's literally amazing. Like I, when I went, I went there last year with a couple of my friends because it was after Liz's memorial service. And I told Josh that we were there and he was like, I took you there like a few years ago. And I was like, this place is so amazing. I forgot like how good it actually is. And ever since I went last year, I just have been dying to go back because their food is so good. I was looking at the menu last night and I was just, my mouth was watering. So I'm really excited. So that's all we're really going to do out there. We're not going to go to any of the wineries. The wineries are kind of expensive. And since he's already taking me out to dinner, we don't have to like, you know, hop around every single winery because I actually do that in October with my two closest friends we do that every October because we go out to the outlets out east and then we go to the wineries after that because um usually they have like amazing sales at the outlets in October and then we go to the um I have something in my eye I don't, it's amazing how much eye goo I actually get in my eye. And thank God this concealer really doesn't dry down too fast, so you have plenty of time to blend it out. Um, so very excited for that too. But that's not till October. But I do have a few things coming up in September and October. Um, but I'm actually doing more things with my friends during the week this week. But since I had Friday through Sunday off, I don't really have too many plans with my friends this weekend because it's also my other friend's birthday, but I'm seeing him on Tuesday night um, and we're going to um, go to dinner. And then Friday, I'm going to the beach with um, the two friends that I usually go to the wineries with. We're going to have another beach day um before the summer's over and I needed to make it to the beach before the summer was over so I'm gonna just put on my Pat McGrath powder that was a little bit yellow underneath my eyes but it's okay I kind of took a, lo a little bit too much but it's not a big deal 
Um, so anyway, we're going to do that. I'm very excited for the beach again. I'm going to actually, I'm going to buy a better sunscreen. <laughs> the sunscreen that I had was fine. I just didn't really apply it too well on my back. So next time, I mean, I'm just going to get the Neutrogena uh, spray sunscreen. Um, so I just set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath Labs powder. And then for my face, I'm just going to use the Dior one. Because this one's like so nice and lightweight. And it looks really good with the Lancome foundation too. My skin looks perfect. I love this foundation. So can you really ask for anything more? Okay. And now we're going to go back to the eyes. So for the, I think for the lower lash line, I think I'm just going to take the same shade that I used in the crease, which is Amalfi. And then for the inner corners, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do touring or, why are these price tags in the way? I might bring this little Bailey's bottle that I got from. Becca's bridal shower later um, to his house because then after dinner we're just going to go back to his house and chill out and probably watch either a show or um, set or a movie um, so I'm not sure if I want to do touring or fly girl but I'm kind of leaning towards touring because it's such a gorgeous inner corner highlight Honestly, ColourPop makes some of my all-time favorite inner corner highlights. They just do the light metallic shades so well. And, like, the lightest shimmer shades in their palettes always end up becoming, like, my favorite inner corner highlights. Because they're just so metallic and pretty. Oh, I love that so much. I'm going to take it here, too. I was supposed to be out of the house by this point, but my boyfriend said, take your time. It's your birthday, so. But I'm probably going to be out in the next, like, 20 minutes or so. Because I would like to get there because I really just want to go. I'm really excited. It takes, like, a little while to get out there, but I'm very excited. And he's going to drive. I'm just driving to his house, and then he's going to drive us. So anyway, um, yeah, that's really it. That's all I'm going to do. Very excited. Tomorrow I'm just going to spend the day with him as well. And then we're, we're just going to chill tomorrow. Um, and then Sunday, I told my mom if she wanted to do something with me, I said I would be here. Because my mom always gets annoyed when I'm not here for my birthday. But yeah. Um, I don't know if this shade is pigmented enough, but I kind of like how it looks. I just wanted it to hug the lower lash line a little. It's just a little bit powdery, but it's okay. I like it. Um, so he got me hooked. My boyfriend got me hooked on Severance. It's an Apple TV show, and we've just been watching that a lot when I come over, so... He wanted to re-watch it again, and I just got hooked on it. It's really good. Um, and then I'm also already on season five of Animal Kingdom. I love it. I'm on, like, episode four, so I'm almost done with it because there's only one more season, and this is the last season of it, and I think the last episode is this Sunday or Monday. Maybe it's Monday, but it's such a good show. I'm, like, addicted to it. It's so good. I just think the characters are amazing. Like, it might not be the greatest show ever, but the characters are just so fascinating that I can't stop watching it because they're all such good actors. So I'm just going to reinforce those mats really quick just so we don't get transfer. But I'm really liking how this is turning out. I'm glad that I ended up using this palette because 
I've been using a lot of my new palettes lately. I kind of wanted to go back to some of my older ones. And I just, I love this palette. It kind of blows me away every time I use it. This is one of their best palettes. And I think I'm going to do an updated top 10 palettes from ColourPop because there really are ones that I think that are the best formula-wise that I would like to talk to you guys about. And this one is definitely one of them. Okay, and then for the... That looks so pretty. I really love how this look turned out. I love yellow eyes. For the lower left, for the waterline, I have this yellow liner from ColourPop as well. And this one's a really pretty one. This one is called sub-zero I don't use this color enough I would have just used my makeup by Mario um brown liner but I want to use a yellow one today so I'm just gonna use this guy hopefully it shows up okay uh, let's just see Sometimes their lightest liners don't show up the greatest, but I like how that looks. And then I got my mom and my brother into The Sandman, which is on Netflix, and it's such a good show. I only saw the first three episodes, so last night was finally... Um, an episode that I haven't seen because now we're on episode five. So we watched three and four last night and I wanted to re-watch the episodes anyway. Oh, I think my dad is walking the dogs again. Okay, so I primed my lashes real quick. So now I'm just going to use my Pat McGrath Labs mascara. I don't really know which other one I would use and this is honestly the only high-end one in my collection right now in a full size and I do really love this mascara so I think this will be a good one um, but I don't think there's anything else really besides my other friend might have me go to Splish Splish with him and his dad on Sunday I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's happening yet because um, he said that he hasn't had time with his dad like that in a long time. And I'm like, honestly, I don't want to impose. Like, if you're going with your dad, I'm like, that's your thing. I'm like, I totally understand. Um, don't, like, make me, don't feel bad if I can't go. Or if your dad just wants to spend time with you. I'm like, I totally understand. Um, but my other, I tried to see if my other friend was okay with my friend coming with us um, on Tuesday night to go out for tacos, but he said he, he would rather it be just me and him, so I have to divide my time between everybody, but yeah. It's a little bit annoying sometimes, but it's okay because I'm seeing my other friend that I'm seeing on Sunday on Friday for the beach, so it should be fine. So now I'm just going to coat my lower lashes with my Lash Discovery by Maybelline, as per usual. Yeah, we're almost done, actually, and then I just have to get my jewelry on and get the hell out of here. I, I had eggs this morning. I'm probably going to be really hungry by the time we go eat dinner. I was thinking about bringing, like, a little snack with me. But, I don't know. I think I'll be fine, honestly. But, I'm going to be cranky for food by, like, probably 4 o'clock. But, we're not even going to be eating that late. We're probably going to be eating by, like, 3.30, so. Okay. I'm just not in love with the mascara on the top currently. Um, I 
Okay, and then for the bronzer, I'm going to use the Gucci bronzer. Um, which is my favorite. Honestly, this is my favorite bronzer still besides the ColourPop one. Um, I like using this for more special occasions. So it's just, it's such an amazing bronzer. It just looks beautiful on the skin and I love it. So I had to use it today, obviously. Plus it's an expensive bronzer, but when I first got it, I used it for like probably a straight month or so. So I've definitely gotten my use out of it. And the ColourPop bronzer was the only new bronzer that I got this year, so. And the for powders was the Rare Beauty. I got a few, like, pressed powders, but as you can see, I used the ColourPop one like crazy. So I'm definitely going to use that one up, I feel like, probably by the end of this year. I still need to post my products I've used up in 2022 video. I still haven't posted that video yet. I still haven't finished filming the products I've used up. I don't know. I just, I, you know, I have like no time to film certain videos now. Or like when I get home from work, I'm just so tired that I just don't feel like filming. And I'll just take my makeup off and want to relax. So, okay. And then for the blush, I'm going to use this one from Becca called Tiger Lily. Unfortunately, this isn't available anymore because Becca's gone. But um, this one's in the Luminous Blush in the shade Tiger Lily. These are very pigmented, so I'm going to take a little bit. But I just thought this one would be so pretty today. And also, Becca blushes last a really long time on the skin. And I just think that these ones from them... Didn't get as much hype as the original ones. I mean, I love their original blushes like Songbird and um, what was the other one? Flower Child. And then there was another one that was like a peach shade and I can't remember the name of it. But I loved those and I used those to death. Those were like my first blushes that I really like fell in love with. Um... But Becca's always had amazing cheek products. Like, their blushes and highlights have always been amazing. Um, but I just wanted to whip this one out today. It's just, it's sad that when a good brand goes out of business. But they just couldn't survive, honestly. And they really didn't keep up with the makeup trends. But they had some really amazing tried and true formulas. Oh, that is so pretty. I just want a tiny bit more, you know, we want it to last, so. Okay, and then for the highlighter, I'm not really sure if this is going to be too dark, but I kind of really want to use it today. I was so torn as to which one I wanted to use. Let's see how this one is, and if it's too dark, I might just use the other one that I had in mind. I'm just going to take a little bit. This is Desi and Katie's Fuego Highlighter. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, I haven't used this in so long. And oh! Oh my god, I forgot how pretty this is. <laughs> this is why I have pan on it, you guys. I mean, this highlighter is amazing. I don't think I mentioned this in my highlighting video either because it's like, it's not really my vibe anymore, but look at that. She's so pretty. Okay, definitely wearing this one today. I pulled out like three different ones, but this one definitely is the winner. I mean, we're already applying it, so. A duh. Oh my god, that one's so beautiful. I haven't used this in forever. Oldie but a goodie. <sighs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I got too excited, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Happy birthday to me. Okay, and then we're just going to spray with my Milk uh, Hydro Grip. Set and Refresh Spray. Still my favorite. Look how much I have. This is my second bottle of this. I can't wait to get another one. I just love it. It's so friggin' hydrating. 
Oh, I love it so much. Okay, and then for, we're just gonna do lips. Give me a second. Okay, and now we're gonna do the lips. I just filled in my brows with my e.l.f. Wow Brow and just put on some jewelry. So for the lip liner, I'm gonna use Pat McGrath's. I can never remember the name of this one and I just looked at it. Structure, love this lip liner. It's a little um, sharp because I just sharpened it like the last time I used it. I'm just going to finish putting that on off okay, camera. Okay, and then for the lips... I wasn't sure which one I want to use. I'm not sure if I wanted to use a lipstick um, or I was going to use a liquid lipstick. So I'm not really sure which one I want to use. Um, like I want to use a liquid lipstick for long wear, but it's also a pain to wipe off later. But I think I am going to use the liquid lipstick, which is Lime Crimes Velveteen in the shade Lulu. I like that color though. I don't know if that's the color I really want. I think I'm going to use the Dior one. I never really use liquid lipsticks anymore. I don't know. I'm just not really in love with them anymore. It's so funny because I used to be obsessed with liquid lipsticks and then like COVID kind of changed like everybody's lipstick taste I feel like and now I'm like all about just regular lipsticks. So I'm going to use the Dior Rouge Dior Matte Lipstick in the shade 314 Grand Ball. And I love this color. It's so pretty. And this is like the per... Oh, yes. That's definitely better. It's like the perfect warm toned nude. And it's a matte lipstick, so it'll last a while. Kind of overlined the side a little bit, but it's okay. I'm just going to finish applying it off camera, but I really like that color. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I really love how it turned out. I mean, I love this palette, and I love these products. So here are the eyes. The cheeks. And the lips. I really love it. It's very pretty so me and these are the looks I love wearing so I love you guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe follow me on my instagram at cbw819 and check out my poshmark at the same handle um yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah bye